Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another video. Realm of Magic is right around the corner and I know that a lot of people are struggling with roofing so I try to come up with a couple of fun yet simple ideas for anything that's spooky, for kind of witchy builds, a witchy cottage for example. So I've built this house here that you've probably already seen in the thumbnail. And we have a kind of whimsical, wonky roof over here. This is a traditional salt box build, which is amazing if you want to build anything that's inspired by Salem. Here we have a A-frame house and over here I have built something that's a bit crazy. So I'm going to show you how you can build all these different roofing styles yourself and we are going to jump right in now. So now we are going to start with this roof over here and for this we are building a room at the bottom. This can be as big or small as you like to, it totally depends on the house you are building. And now I'm building a room over here. And for this type of roof I always advise that you are using an even number of tiles. So in this case I'm using six. So you can use exactly half of the tiles on this side and on this side for each half of the roof so it's much easier. And now we are going to use the half gabled roof and I'm going to place it over here and I'm expanding it. And now we have this little sphere over here. And when you are holding down shift and C on your keyboard while hovering over it, this happens. You have additional spheres popping up and when you press it again, it goes away. So you can kind of switch to an advanced control. We don't actually need this here, but if you want to be extra fancy, you can activate the advanced controls and you can create something extra special. You can then just um, add more shapes and curves as you can see. But for now, because as I said, it's really simple we are going to use the regular control so I'm going to switch back and now as you can see here it's curved outwards and here inwards so what we are going to do is we move this up a bit and then we press on the sphere and we curve it outward so it looks like this and then we can simply copy it we can click on this little copy button I'm turning it around and then I'm once again click on the little sphere and this time I curve it inwards so this is what happens and now we have these little eaves sticking out so in this case you click on your roof you hold down shift and you simply move them back so it looks like this so they are not sticking out whenever you are holding shift you are only manipulating one side of the eaves now I'm not pressing shift and this happens and now I'm holding shift and this happens. Quickly going to undo this <laughs> so we are back with a regular roof and this already looks super nice. If you really want to keep it simple you could just have a kind of whimsical magical roof like this but we want to go totally over the top so what we are going to do is we are going to add another roof. Again I'm using a half gabled roof and this time I'm placing it down here. And as you can see, this is not lining up properly. And to make this issue really visible, I'm going to apply a roof trim. You can use any roof trim you like. You can see that this roof trim is sticking out. So what you do is you want to curve it outwards this time. So I'm clicking on my sphere and I'm manipulating it until it's merging together kind of until it looks nice as you can see now it's barely visible so you kind of want to have a curve like this when you're moving this side inwards you want to curve it outwards here and next time in the next step because we are adding another roof down here you want to curve it inwards again so it's kind of shaped like a wraith and now we are moving the room over here and once again you could totally leave it like this because I think it looks super fun it's not symmetrical it looks really fun and kind of crazy but just like we have done here we are going to add another roof and I can simply copy it if I would like to and now as I said we curve it inwards again and you 
perfect in what step by step I w was just lucky here until the roof trim disappears because I'm going to manipulate it again a bit as you can see now it's sticking out so you kind of want to find the sweet spot this is really simple just click a couple of times until it disappears and now we have this over here when you look at this house that I've built I have expanded the eaves on one side so when I pull them in it looks like this so when you add a roof on the side, just like I've done here, it can be totally fun to once again hold shift and only expand the side, for example. So you can kind of hide the eaves inside this gabled roof. And over here, I have built another fun roof and I have used the same method technically. And we're going to do this so I can quickly show you this. I will just add a room down here and a roof so that I can show you what's going on there. So now we have a roof over here and now I have two options. I could either just use my room tool and I can build a room down here and now I can add a roof on top. So I'm now going to increase the height of this roof because it just looks really fun with this type of style and now I can also make this roof a bit higher and once again I can click on the little sphere to curve it outwards and again you could also activate the advanced controls by using shift and C and then you could make some really fun crazy shapes or a shape like this for example so you have many fun possibilities and another option which I think is really fun is to simply add only a roof so you don't add a room and you just add a roof so it's just decoration and when you have a really really steep roof like this it instantly makes it look like something i don't know out of a fairy tale for example so this is just a very simple way to make it look even more fun of course once again you could do the same thing that we have done here you could assemble this one roof out of two different parts to create a fun shape so in this case i'm going to use a roof that is two tiles wide and i'm going to place it over here i'm making it a bit higher and now i'm curving it outward like this i'm going to copy it i place it over here I'm curving it a bit inward and once again I want to pull in the eaves and now it looks like this and this is just for decoration this is not a room of course it's just a roof but I think it looks super fun and especially because this roof is kind of pointing into this direction and this one is pointing into the other direction it looks super nice and when you decorate this especially with the new windows that we are going to have in the pack it's super fun and now we have a little problem over here I just want to explain this to you in case you really want to recreate something like this. The eaves are sticking out here and of course I could simply pull them in but this is a different look. So maybe you want a look like this, maybe even something like this. So what you do in this case is you pull your roof over here and then I press shift and I pull the eaves in so the eaves are ending right here at this wall and now of course I have a gap over here so I simply copy the roof I place it in the same spot that I have placed the, the other roof I'm moving it over here and now I can simply pull in the eaves down here so now I have two roofs. I have this roof over here without any eaves expanded and the other one over here. So it looks nice and neat. Sometimes it's just really simple to combine two different roofs to create the look that you are going for. And here I have simply built another roof and I have curved it inward. You could also do something like this. And this kind of creates this very whimsical fun look. And now we are going to talk about the traditional salt box house. So what makes a salt box house a salt box house? So you have the two stories in the back as you can see here and only one story in the front. And as the tale goes there was a taxation for houses with two stories. So the people were smart so they just had one story in the front. Technically you could also get rid of this so it looks like this. So you have the two stories in the back and only one story in the front this 
is kind of more of a traditional look but i like the look of having another roof over here but if you really want to make this the front of your house so you add a door over here of course you would like to get rid of this roof probably so this is very simple you build a room and another room on top so this is your area with the two stories that is located in the back then you add a regular gabled roof over here and now you expand the area down here because this is the one story area where you want to add another roof we are using a half gabled roof and you simply attach it like this so it's merged together perfectly i move this inwards and this is it you could also once again copy this and add another roof so you have the very typical salt box two stories here and only one story over here in this area and traditionally you would like to build a chimney right in the center of your house you can find these houses in Salem, for example. So if you want to build something that's very traditional and very richy, a salt box is probably always a good choice, depending on what you want to build. This doesn't look as spectacular as something like this, for example. But if you really want to go all in and want to build something very traditional, this is a really fun style. So now let's talk about the A-frame house. We have a big room at the bottom and a room that is one tile smaller on each side and just a roof on top. So if you go down to the bottom, you have this and then it looks like this and this is just a roof. So to recreate this, you build a room again, any size you want, it doesn't really matter. And then you use a half gabled roof and you make this only one tile wide so this is as slim as it gets as you can see i cannot make this any smaller so this is exactly what you would like to use for this and i'm placing it right at the edge and now i click on the arrow to move it upwards until it meets the ceiling over here i'm pulling in the eaves and it looks like this so you really want your roof to end roughly over here in this area and now i can once again copy the roof so i have it's identical on both sides basically and now i build another room on top and once again i would like to leave a bit of space on each side so this as i said is one tile smaller on each side compared to the room at the bottom and now it's really easy i can just copy my roofs and it looks like this this is really really easy and now in the last step you add a regular gabled roof and now the shape is looking weird so you move it up like this until it lines up perfectly this is the same as i've shown you for the other roofs you kind of have to find the sweet spot until it merges together perfectly oh there it was actually and you just kind of play around with it same here i have the same issue over here so you just adjust the height a bit until it looks perfect and again really out of the ordinary but this could also be fun for any type of witch cottage it's technically the same as i've shown you for the alternative version of this roof where we just used one roof that was really steep you could instead of using this as a dormer you could also use this as the base of your whole build basically and now we're going to talk about those kind of really weird fantasy roof as always we start off by building a room at the bottom and now i'm building another room and we're going to get rid of this room but we just need it for now to build this so we are building a regular gabled roof and now it looks like this and for this over here, I used the diagonal hipped roof and I made it as small as possible. So it's only one tile wide. And then I built it like this. So it's placed in the front. And then I used a another gabled roof. So I was able to kind of expand this area so it looks like this i'm going to increase the height you really have to play around with this a little bit i'm going to 
pull the eaves in and now I can get rid of this roof and I can adjust this a little bit now that the room is gone I can pull this back and it looks like this this is as I said a fantasy roof and you need the room that I built in the beginning to place these roofs on top of it and you have to play around with it a little bit and as always you can add some trims so it looks extra special but maybe this could be fun for some more creative, weird, witchy cottages. So this is it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that there were some helpful tips and tricks for you. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And of course, next week, there will be a lot of spooky, fun Realm of Magic builds for you. I'm going to start building right away on Tuesday. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.